Crushing Pumpkins. Live in downtown Detroit, the Local 4 live stream with Jason Carr starts now. Hey. Yep, uh, a, little, uh, a little off there. All right, <laughs> we here we one go. One thing, the camera shot. Good morning to you. Welcome to uh, Jason Carr Live. It's 9, 16 and a half today. We're not getting, bad. Yep, not bad. We're getting better. One day it was like 9.23. Happy Halloween. Uh, hopefully you're still eating all your kids' candy from last night. I'm sure your kid doesn't mind, right? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of kids. This, uh, this, this photo is making the rounds. This little girl dressed up All right, as a Abe, come back to me real quick. Mom. Hold on. I know I want to keep people in suspense, but <laughs> I have theme music for this. Hang on. Okay, so we'll, we've got different theme songs that we're going to play for this. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. All right, uh, there is the little girl. She dressed up as uh, her mom, or we presume her mom, a harried mom. Um, this costume is special. It makes me think of old CBS Open. Or maybe one day at a time, the sitcom. Doesn't that... I mean, she's got a baby clamp to her leg. She's got a baby in her arm. She's got fake puke on her shoulder. She's wearing the pink sweatsuit. Uh, it's it's being praised as an accurate portrayal. An accurate portrayal yeah. of um, an overworked mom. She's got a little bit of uh, spit up on her on her sweatshirt on her hoodie. <laughs> and the enthusiasm. I mean, the just darks, <laughs> the dark cir uh, circles under the eye. Um, we have multiple theme songs for this, so this that's is, the first uh, one. Was, uh, this is one. Laney of Muncie, Indiana. Yes. And and this is this is uh, her her younger sister who's dressed as a grandmother, and uh, and I like this kid on the left who's dressed just as a UPS guy. These guys are killing the what costumes. What can Brown just do for you? And, what can and... Brown do? For you? Well, he can get you some candy. He, he can fill up his pumpkin. Dump it out and then go get more. So you, there's, there's. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are people saying, Jake, about uh, our live viewers? Are they? Impressed? They love it. They love it. They definitely think it's accurate. They. One guy says that girl will take the same pick in 15 years with her real children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's see the pic, uh, the photo one more time. Let's see if I got it. Hang on. Wait for it. All right. Internet issues. Okay, let's come back to it. Yeah, we're uh, we're still talking about lots of costumes, lots of fun stuff from yesterday. Yeah. Well, this one, <laughs> this guy went as uh, Donald Trump's hair. <laughs> and it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Ten-year-old Gage of Wichita is generating a lot of buzz for his costume. Last year, he dressed up as Sharknado. The year before that, he was the Zoltar from Mach Machine from the movie Big. Isn't that great? That's classic. All right. Oh, oh. This oh, next oh one. and while we're talking about Trump's hair, I, uh, well, I put something together, and yes. I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but what do you think of that? <laughs> this is not bad. Really? <laughs> really, John? Oh. Show that again. <laughs> All right, hey, I had a different song queued up for this. I got my, I'm got i having iPhone issues here with all of my different music cues. It looks um, natural. You think it looks natural? <laughs> it's... In your smile, bring me laughter all the while. In this world where Can you put it back up? Oh, yeah. Why do I feel like the live viewers are sinking by the dozens? <laughs> Everyone's loving it. This is, uh, you know, I, I found a PNG of the hair, and the first thing I thought of was like, well, we know what I look like now as a blonde, <laughs> but it's it's a weird sort of creepy uh, Rocky Horror kind of blonde, <laughs> or or uh, Fred from Scooby Doo. Okay. So we got um, some more costumes to look at too. This yeah, one, this one you found, and this is great. Oh, <laughs> that, this is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Might be my favorite costume. I mean, the Trump, Trump wig's pretty good, and the one that we led with. Um, 
Exhausted Mom was pretty good, but this, I mean, both at the same time, Hall and Oates. Mm -hmm. Epically fantastic. And then I also grabbed this one, which was in the same article, with this little kid dressed as Prince. <laughs> and I thought, wow, that is, that is amazing. I got the little mustache on that drew on there, too. <laughs> Well done, sir. Well done. All right. What's next on the docket? We're talking about The Office. Now, this oh. was a great photo that was, uh, was shared. Um, Pam Beasley, uh, who is Jenna Fisher, she, she, everyone at first thought that this was her son uh, or daughter, but this is uh, actually just someone had sent a photo uh, on Twitter and tagged it, and she shared it, and everyone started thinking that it was her kid. But anyways, this, this, uh, this young man went as Dwight Schrute. The hardworking alpha male, uh, jackhammer, merciless, and insatiable. And I love it because he's, he's actually holding uh, beats there. So uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty fantastic. That's awesome. I love it. You know what? I love it. And then um, we have this chart, this, this ranking of candy. Do we have the hierarchy? Chart. Yes. It's kind of difficult to see in these couple photos because it's so you have long, but I, I, I pulled a whole bunch of it. Um, and this is something Boing Boing does every year where they do this major sur survey of the most loved and hated candy that gets, gets put out. And uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful graph they put together and, uh, and how the data was pulled and everything. So the uh, Kit Kats are, are tops, right? Well, full-sized candy bars, no matter what they are, are tops. Followed by Moolah. Followed by Legal Tender. Got Kit Kats, Reese's, Twix, Snickers, Toblerones, Lint Truffles. Toblerones. Yeah, I know. Who's giving out Toblerones? <laughs> really? Uh, you got to pay a tariff to get these, right? I mean, it's ridiculous. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, M&M's and Milky Ways. Now, on the bottom of the list, <laughs> on the bottom of the list, uh, started with broken glow sticks, white bread, <laughs> gum from baseball oh, cards, gum and baseball cards, kale smoothies, whole wheat anything, marshmallow circus peanuts, and pencils. So, if you've got some and time... somewhere in there, too, I mean, creepy pamphlets. You know, oh, there was, yeah, I mean, it's a whole list. I took out, I didn't do graphics for the whole thing in the right. middle, but there are uh, an amazing amount of things that they put out there, and they, they tally all these votes. Can we go back to the, uh, can we go back to the um, harried mom costume, oh, yeah. the exhausted mom costume? Do you have the close-up on this? <laughs> all right, here we go. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> so ridiculous. She's got, if you can see, she's got the, uh, the shuffling, uh, what would you call those? The flip-flops. The flip-flops, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just this, this whole outfit is done to a T. When you, listen, when you're an exhausted mom, every day you are shuffling. But it's not the shuffling that you know LMFAO uh, promoted in Party Rock Anthem. It's the, yes, we know, we're NBC. I got it. Um, <laughs> it's the shuffling from grocery store to kids practice to the bus stop to back home to do laundry. To We want to hear from you. What's, uh, can you put the picture up one more time? Oh, yeah. John? See, I think I might have one more here for you. I don't know this. Again, this um, is Laney from Muncie, Indiana. Come on, Alice was a hardworking mom. She was at that diner, right? Oh yeah, always getting yelled at. What do we have next? Well, this was a, a video that one of the producers found earlier this morning, and uh, you just stay in here and eat. I don't know. Folks, just tuning in. Who's this guy over here? That's pummeling that pumpkin. 
Those are just elephants that are crushing pumpkins. Apparently this is a uh, tradition at the uh, Oregon Zoo where they bring out a whole bunch of oversized pumpkins for the elephants to play with and just crush, which is, which is kind of fun. Nothing is more compelling than watching an elephant squash a pumpkin while tra uh, scanner traffic blares uh, in yeah. the background. There. <laughs> I got to run. And um, we also have, if that's not enough, something about a patient's gown catching on fire during surgery. Why did this happen? Ap apologies to delicate sensibilities. <laughs> This, this won't make the air, but it'll make the Facebook Live. Uh, this was something that happened at the Tokyo Medical Center back in April, and a patient's gown caught fire during surgery. And why? No one knew why at first, but over the weekend, the hospital's report finally uh, came out, and it was because the patient involved had passed gas during surgery and ignited with the laser that was uh, being used. Ignited for the laser? This, the laser ignited the gas and uh, she suffered pretty severe burns. Uh, so it's, it's uh, just, just kind of an odd story, but... Oh, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... How do you prepare for that? I don't know. You, it, you don't prepare for that. You just wait for Bacon Emoji to make their Apple debu debut on the next version. That's of, we're uh, talking iOS. emojis again, huh? Talking emojis, two days in a row, right? Yeah. All right. So oh, this you had the originals yesterday. Yes, those were the original 176, and now uh, the iOS 10.2 includes 72 new emojis. So we have that to look forward to. We, th that many more words are being added to our emoji dictionary. Uh, We're all going to end up in caves painting pictures on the wall. Yep, that's right. Uh, so this, this new one is going to include the face palm, the shrug, fingers crossed, and Jason Carr's favorite, bacon. Bacon. Who doesn't so, love bacon? I can be expecting text messages of bacon emojis more, more often now. All right, next on the docket is the burger in... McDonald's is serving this in Japan because they never do anything like this here, though I think they should. Talk about capturing market share. If you did some really weird and wild and out there stuff... You could grab some new people. You could. This is, uh, yeah. What is this? What, what is this? Cheese and a pork McDonald's sandwich. It's the pork... Japanese McDonald's chains have launched a pork katsu cutlet oozing with cheese. The cheese katsu burger features a breaded, deep-fried pork patty that's filled with cheese, and once ordered and deep-fried, the cheese will start oozing as patrons bite into the crispy goodness. McDonald's new sandwich is also topped with, wait for it, cabbage and some mayonnaise. Or mayonnaise. That's, well... You know, that's, that's something. I, I, you are I'm, underwhelmed, I guess. I tell. am underwhelmed. Can I, we go back to the Hall & Oates, kid? Is that oh, yeah, possible? yeah, the Hall & Oates. Really? Can you get that for me? Look at this genius costume, Chuck. No? No, that's David Hall & Oates. That's Hall & Oates. You can't go for that? <laughs> okay, let's get back on schedule here. Ginger Coke. No, Chuck. Uh, down under in Australia, they have launched a ginger version of Coca-Cola. Um, so there's that. <laughs> there's that. I'm going to have to try it. Like I was telling you before, I'm a little bit of a pop connoisseur and... Well, I can't try it now for 61 days, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not getting involved in that. Uh, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get a, a, my hands people on this stuff. I'm confused because there's no ginger in the ingredients. That's why I, I put it Oh, really? Are thrown off by that, yeah. So how does it get its ginger flavor? Yeah. It has ginger in it? No? No. Th that's, okay. That's what Jacob just said, is that there actually isn't ginger Jacob, listed. Jacob, can you want to get the story off the printer that I printed about ginger ale yeah. real quick? Studies have been done and results repeatedly show ginger or ginger ale may have a limited positive effect on nausea. 
you know, when you feel the spilkus is building up in the stomach and you're kind of, ugh. Yeah. When I was sick when I was a kid, mom always made hot verners and lemon on the stove pre-microwave. Yep. Hey, what'd you say? Pre-microwave. You want to hear something, hipster? What? I don't have a microwave. Is that on purpose? I mean, I just wouldn't use it. I put most things in the oven. <laughs> Do you want to hear something, hipster? <laughs> Can we go back to uh, Hall and Oates, kid, real quick? <laughs> what are people saying? Well, they're talking about uh, that there's nothing better than a good Verners. What's this doing for our live viewership? Yeah, it's hard to tell. Can't I mean, tell? No, my computer's... Well, it's on the fridge. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll do anything to get you to watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're cracking ourselves up. All right, back to the ginger ale. So. Let's just put that down over there. Uh, can ginger ale really soothe nausea? The Atlantic, a uh, whole article about this in the Atlantic. And there is a shout out to Detroit in here, somewhere, talking about how um, back in the day they made ginger beer overseas in the UK and then somebody had the, the bright idea to come over here and make carbonated water part of the mixture, get rid of the yeast. Um, here we go. Thomas Cantrell, an American apothecary living in Ireland, carbonated his drink with soda water instead of yeast and began exporting the beverage to the US around 1850. This established ginger ale as American favorite. Then James Verner created a blend of ginger, vanilla, and spices and left it in an oak barrel when he was called to fight in the Civil War. When he came back from the war, he was pleased with the result. Wow, how long was he gone, I wonder? I don't, it doesn't say how long he was gone. And then in 1904, another pharmacist, a Canadian named McLaughlin, created a paler, drier ginger ale, ginger ale you know today as Canada Dry. Okay, well, I gotta say, I, I prefer Verner's to, to Canada Dry. Now, here's the challenge. Can you slam a Verner's without coughing? There used to be a commercial. Um, one of the wings, was it Fedorov? It's Gingri. It's Gingri. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see Hollow Notes Kid again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back through some of these costumes. We got the kid, Prince Kid. Dwight Schrute. Did you have a, um, show me the Canada Dry again, please. No, I can't go for Canada Dry. It's got to be Verner's. Is that it? That's it. That's, that's we, all we, we got for the We went through the entire day. rundown? Yeah. Yeah, not, not, too, not too shabby. Maybe we should see the, the girl in her exhausted mom costume one Let's more time. Let's see if I... See if I can call something up for that. Absolutely amazing. It's, it's already being hailed as one of the best costumes to come from Halloween 2016. This girl's going to go down in history. All right. That's it. That's uh, we it. will see you uh, in 26 minutes live at the top of the hour on the TV on Live in the D with Chuck, Tati, and me, you see. Stay classy, Detroit.